Hatfield Cemetery. Captain Anderson, Devil Lance Hatfield, 1839 to 1921. He's buried here. He was the leader of his clan and the Bitter Family Feud with the McCoys. A life-size statue modeled from photographs and imported from Italy marks his grave. We'll go up the hill and see that. Devil Lance Hatfield's grave. Hatfield Cemetery. Life-size marble statue of him on his grave. The names of his children underneath. And then he served in the Civil War under the Confederacy. The Confederate flags down the side of him. Graves of his children. Johnson Hatfield. This is the Hatfield Cemetery. First Devil Lance Hatfield's grave, most famous. It's scattered all throughout here. A bunch of different Hatfields. Some of Devil Lance's children. Some graves. Of People that participated in the few that weren't Hatfields and McCoys. They put this cemetery right up on the hill. So that land's kind of a premium in southern West Virginia, so it's kind of a common practice. Come up to the Hatfield Cemetery. Just be aware that it's a pretty steep trail to get up to the actual cemetery. There's a parking spot by the road. And it's about a quarter of a mile walk uphill and it gets pretty steep. Another thing to be aware of when you come is that it's private property around this and you can see there's fences with no trespassing signs and people get kind of excited down here if you get on their property so just stay on the trail and you shouldn't have any problems here's a sign for the Hatfield family cemetery and you see the roadside marker. There's a place to park your vehicles on the other side of the road. Historic places marker. And you've got a little crystal block unincorporated sign where the pullout is to go up the hill, walk up the hill. <laughs> 